Man, just look how much we... Oh, so this is how we make an axe. Hold on. So, let me, uh... I'm gonna get rid of something here. Let's get rid of this tree branch, since we don't really need it. Goodbye. We have blocked this. And then, there we go. Oh, hello, Cricket. Restless Cricket, a very energetic critic. Ah, Cricket. Cook it with monster parts to create a stamina recovery elixir. Very cool. Now we can make uh, anything we want in the world. Ooh, scary. Gotta be cautious about this one. Since it is night. Oh, a distraction. What is this? Oh. Who will win? Sorry. <laughs> the Chew Jellies win. No one won. It was I, Link. Very cool. Man, all this stuff looks very interesting. So our next target is up there. Oh, we gotta be cautious. Since it is night. Dead. Oh, there's still more. Ooh! It's a pot. We can actually cook stuff now. Uh, oh, hello. Try and hit this rock. And that thing is on fire. Hold on. Hiya! Alright, we got him. We got him down! Oh, it was a wooden stick. Oh, no. On fire. Oh, that's fine. Don't worry. We got it. Old wooden shield. Oh, this screams. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Need... Wait. Thick stick with... Uh, hold on. This is so stupid. The stick shield, my new invention. It can fight off any demon. Wait, hold on. Wait, how do I unfuse? Is it possible to unfuse? Or do I have to... Uh, oh, that's probably how. Hold on. Uh, maybe not. Maybe that's not how you unfuse. I was going to say, we could probably connect this so we can make a bigger shield. But, and eh, we'll do that later. But, we can now cook. Let's do some cooking. Um, fire fruit. And, how about some apples? Mmm. This sounds delicious. Scorching simmered fruit. Hot weather attack. So this increases our weather. Um, hold. Apple. Apple. Hold on. Yeah. Thank God I can still cook. Energizing steamed meat. Ooh. You can open this, right? Open. Thank you. Soldier Reaper. I can't hold that. Let's get rid of this stick. Yes, drop that, please. Nice. Alright. Well, let's continue onward. Oh, it looks like I didn't pick something up here. What is this? Alright. We continue onward. I wonder if we can create a helicopter of some kind. Bright bloom seed, a seed that often used in caves or wells with struck, it will take the root and bloom. Ooh, so hold on. That means let me get rid of this. If I can get rid of it. Hold on. Can I get rid of this stupid fruit? There we go. Oh, oh, oh god. I may have accidentally started the wildfire. Anyway, that's fine. 
Um, here we go. Do I just strike it, right? Why do I strike it? There's nothing to strike. Oh, hello. I lost it. It's not what I was expecting, but I guess it's something. Flint, strike it with metallic weapons to generate a spark. The fire starter breaks uh breaks after one use, but you can create a long lasting flame. Interesting. What is that? Hello. It shoots bubbles. Now it's dead. It's not dead. It's dead now. <laughs> it's not dying. It's dead. Oh! Bubble gem. A strange crystal left behind by defeating the bubble frog. It's cave. Uh, it's eerie blue glow may entice you. Collect even more. Oh. Oh, hello. What is this place? This place is very concerning. I wish I knew more about it. Oh, yeah. Since we do have this. Uh, is this amber? Uh, fossilized resin. Cool. Oh, it shows the fuse attack power, too. Interesting. Ruby. A precious red ore mined with large deposits. So we should use these to, like, use certain weapons. Actually collect these? Yes. Might as well. Might be a good idea to later. Keys wing. An aerodynamic material. Very cool. Giant bright bloom seed. A seed that's found underground. When stuck, it will take root in bloom, radiating a large amount of light from a big flower. I wish I knew what any of these were. Ooh, shirt. Unlock. Let's go. Nicely done. We now have a shirt. Uh huh. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. It's like, it shows like it's. Oh. Oh, it's my shield. <laughs> That's what that is. Hello, Roru. How are Roru? Ro Ro. Oh. No. Bad news, guys. My axe broke. What a depressing day. Hello, Rauru. Mm. The steward constructs were the first to be built after that. We crafted other suits to different roles. The culinary constructs, maker constructs, you find all sorts of them still active in this place. Some became so skilled within their specialties that they surpassed us. We began to learn from them instead. Mm. We should take time to talk to them. They can teach you many things that might not know yet. That you might not know yet. Oh, ho, ho, hello. Hello. Sir. The rats for crossing the other side are broken. Transportation is on hold indefinitely. This ordinary... Uh, this is ordinarily where we send resources resources across the river. The only silver lining is that the Zonai devices are undamaged. Zonai devices? Ah, it seems you do not know the Zonai devices. There are necessities around here. Allow me to explain. This green thing is called a Zonai device. The one you see here is a fan. You can produce wind on demand by striking it. They are self-evidently useful. We have a variety of Zonai devices for multi... Continuous purposes? Using Zonai devices does require energy. An external energy cell will be necessary in your case. Ah, you have one already. That's a relief. But perhaps a refresher explanation is in order. An energy cell stores the energy required to use Zonai devices. Its energy will replenish automatically while Zonai devices are not in use. So it looks like we can do up to eight, but right now we can only do one. Its capacity is not unlimited. Use the energy contained within wisely. Otherwise, you may run out of in of opportune moments. Pardon the long explanation. It does not change our need for a raft. Zonai devices are extremely useful. Take creativity. Uh, cre uh, think creatively and you will find many ways to employ them. Um, yeah, sure. 
There's something over here, though, but I don't think we can actually go that way. We can check it out, though. It probably wouldn't hurt, right? Ooh, boy. Scary. Yep. Oh, wow, this does look a little... Oh, gosh. Ah, yep. That is a demon. <laughs> that is a demon. In fact, that does look a little something like... Once we go down there, it does not look like we can come back. Unless we build a bridge. Something. Now, let's risk it. Let's go down there. Yep. There we go. Alright. Fight me. Okay, don't fight me. Actually, do fight me. Oh, don't fight me. It's really strong. I need to eat something. Um. Ooh, I got it. Let's swap to this bad boy. Oh, we got our stone axe back. Nice. Well, I don't think we can get up there. But we could always create something to get up there. But what can we make? Well, luckily for us, we do have the ability to fuse things. So let's create something that we can use to get up there. One second. Let's do that, shall we? Let me collect some logs. And there we are. Now that we have logs what is this oh it's a leaf it's a freaking leaf it's a korok frond all right so we need to fuse these together so one second it may be possible to hmm it might be possible that we could Oh, I have an idea. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Give me a second here. Okay. Give me a second. Uh, yeah. Well, Hold on. Wait, uh, okay, there we go. Well, I kind of had the right idea. Give me a second. I can do, I can fix this. I can, I can fix this. Uh, aha. There we go. We just gotta climb up it. All according to plan. Wow, that actually was kind of pretty smart. But the real question is, how do we get back? Oh, well, actually we could just do that. Well, it looks like we're gonna be climbing up. So, let's do that. Gotta be very cautious when climbing up these things. But damn, Link has gotten stronger. He's he's losing like less energy. And we can rest up here for a little bit. Once we get our stamina up, we can continue. All right. Gotta keep going. Wow. We did it. We solved it. We solved our first puzzle. We're so smart. Wow. All right. Well, I guess we got to get back down there. So let's go do that. We got to go make our way back. Oh, this is so cool. 
feel like I'm learning so much. Like, I'm unlocking my prowess. Alright, so we need to get down there. Um, I don't have my thing. And, oh, the tree saved me. Thank you, tree. Alright, since we need to create a Zonai device, let's do that. So it looks like we need to attach, attach, and from the looks of it, there we go. Actually, you know what? Maybe this will work. We need to go that way. So what, we just hit it? It literally has a battery. Well, it's working. It's not going a good direction. But it's working. Very cool. And we hit our light. Cool. Nice. That went very well. Hello. What you got here? Oh, are you going to teach me how to make a fire? Oh, are you going this direction? This mountain path is especially rugged. You must take advantage into the account when traveling. I was developed a guidance for traveling this mountain path. Sure, let me hear it. Very well. Fire is a crucial tool. When traveling the mountain path, a fire can be used either to cook or to warm yourself. Uh, how do I start a fire? I recommend using flint as a fire starter. Place flint next to a bundle of wood and then strike it with a metallic or stony weapon. This is my recipe for fire. Hmm. Uh. Sure. You can cook anytime and anywhere. All you need is a pot and a lit fire. One method of cooking is simply to throw random ingredients into the pot. Others are more careful. This is the best way to make meals that can warm you up. Other effects are also possible. Insects and monster parts are not edible. Do not cook horns or guts with food. Did these parts are materials for elixirs. Elixirs are also helpful in the mountains. They are alternate ways to warm your body or recover stamina. First step in all cases is to start a fire. That is all I can tell you. Take care. Thank you. Sorry, buddy. Hope I didn't scare you. Danger! Oh, I got spooked. My bad. Well, hold on a second. So, I'm guessing with all the stuff we can get, we can increase our stamina and our speed. So, I guess we can start cooking. But first things first, we need wood. Uh, actually. There we go. We don't need wood. Let's do some cooking. Um, let's make. Uh, this is a sky shroom, restores health. And let's make one that increases our stamina. Here we go. Energizing mushroom skewer. There we go. Uh, let's make something that involves speed. Maybe this could help increase our speed. Probably. Hasty mushroom skewer. Very cool. Very nice. Uh, he did say it might be good to heat ourselves up, right? But I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh, that is a cloud. Demon! Hmm. I don't have a rock, but... Yeah. Hmm. We might need something to break it with. By the looks of it, from somewhere high, we could probably drop a boulder on it or something. Or we can get a stick. Oh, that's a big one. Hello. Very nice. Very good. Uh, we'll figure out how to break that in a minute or so. But right now, we should keep moving forward. 
We need one more shrine that we can go into the temple of time. Oh, a cave. Ew, what is this? Looks like a chest. Oh. What is this? Can I actually fuse it? Hmm. Interesting. Looks like whatever happens, it will be dangerous from here on out. They don't know what's happening. They're like, um, what? Oh, we got spotted. Didn't something. Ah! That hurt. <laughs> Let me, uh, I don't want to use all my food yet. Well, let's see. Oh, they made a bridge. Or not a bridge. Oh, God. I'm dying. Okay. I'm good. I'm fine. Alright, careful. Oh, okay, he's distracted. Oh, God, I'm out of weapon. Sorry, we'll continue. We unlock Prowless. Prowless sec. Hmm. Hmm. A valuable ore that gives off a mesmerizing a resident similar to inside of a seashell. Looks nice. Uh, I guess I can't take the bow. Whoops. Uh, drop that one. I dropped it, right? Okay, upgrade. Let's go. Hmm. From the looks of it, the Soldier Reaper. So this is a sharp sword. From the looks of it, it looks like I can, can actually combine a uh, wooden sword. So let's try it. Let's actually try that. Um, we're going to try and hold one. We're going to drop it. We're going to quickly take out materials. Okay. Oh, that's one way to do it. So we're going to fuse. Or fuse. Try fusing it. And there we go. Looks like we got the Soldier Reaper. Very cool. Very useful. Oh, check this out. All right. Looks like we're going to make a minecart. A working minecart. Uh -huh. Hold on. And there we go. Wow. This is actually cool. Discovery! I can't see. I think that's as far as I can go. Oh, this is not an enemy. Hello. What you got for me? This cave is especially dark. You will need the light in order to proceed. Come on, you lie ahead. Do you have any blight room seeds? Yes, I do. What a relief. You would not otherwise be able to see anything as you proceed. Bright room seeds, seeds grow primarily in caves. There was a time once when they grew here as well. This cave has not been mostly picked clean of them. This is because it's especially dark. The seeds were often necessary. My associates often forget to bring bright bloom, bright bloom seeds. I am posted here to provide a reminder. Use them to light your way if you are proceeding ahead. Hmm. Well, how would I do that? Well, hold on. Maybe I could, wait, maybe I could, hold on. Is it possible I could maybe, let's see, this is a giant bright bloom seed. Here we go. Um, maybe, cause it says when striked, oh, okay. I see. This is what we're supposed to do. 
I see. Clever. Yep, yeah, nope, that is very uh dark to see. Let me swap my stone axe here. Yeah, uh, that won't work, will it? Well, not very well. Zonite. Zonite. An unusual mineral that has many purposes. Ancients extracted energy from it to refine it for crafting a weapon and armor. Hmm. Well, that could be useful. Which, uh, what you doing up there? My bad. My construct bow is badly damaged. Uh... Oh, he dies. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, let's get rid of this. I'm gonna make an axe. I'm gonna make a. Uh... This way we can mine these a bit better. Very smart to be able to do that. I think that's really cool. But I don't know how to unfuse items. So, if you can even do that. All right. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, let's. Well, it said something about how you can fuse them together to make better stuff. So let's try doing that. Um. So the zonite. We'll drop one. Let's see what it does. Um. Uh, yeah. This. Looks like it could do plenty of damage. I'll be honest. Oh, wait, no. I don't want to, I don't want to throw that. Uh, cancel. There we go. Jesus. Uh, I don't... The Zonite Club. Okay. Yep, this looks pretty dark. Let me just... And it broke. Is that a forge? What are you... Nah, there's no way I can forge stuff, right? Uh, what's this? Hmm? Apologies for noticing you. I was focusing on processing Zonite. Oh, are you unfamiliar with it? This is Zonite. I mentioned it. I mentioned. It is a unique menin... Oh, whoa. A unique mineral that can be mined far beneath the land below. These are traces deposits of it on this island as well, but they are limited to this cave. Our society floors by processing this substance into other minerals. Processing? Zonite is processed by smelting it in the furnace. It is hereby converted into a material with useful properties. A uh, few such materials will be ready for your review shortly. Wait one moment. Okay. Thank you for your patience. I will now explain what sort of materials the ore can be processed into. Uh, zonite technology is typically powered by zonite charges. These occasionally solidify into a form known as crystallized charges. Converting zonite into other useful materials this is a way called process. Okay. Zonite charges are what power zonite devices and constructs. Uh, a charge can be consumed to replenish your energy cell. You need anything else? It's a crystallized charge. A crystallized charge are solidified form of zonite charges. We mainly use them as raw material in the construction of energy cells. Which at any time. Oh, I see. How many do you require? So, the more I get... Huh. There's only materials to be available you once processing is complete. Interesting. So we can't use them now, but we can use them later. Cool. Let me collect these bad boys. There's so much to learn. What's this? Ah, I have not given permission to take those. Sorry. Could it be that you've forgotten to bring Zonai capsules? I have some. I'm glad to hear that. Many forget that necessary supplies. I do keep spares in case of emergencies. Please let me know if you have the kind of emergency that requires them. So I can't take them. Did you forget your Zonai capsules? You have forgotten yours. Or perhaps you may not even know what I mean. Zonite capsules are a convenient means of carrying portable Zonite devices. It is unfortunate that you seem to have none. I will lend you a few spares. 
so I can just drop them. The one I gave you were fan types. You can deploy them at any time. They will generate wind when struck. Zonite devices are useful and come in many varieties. I will carry several with me for any occasion. Many neglect to keep a healthy supply on hand. I keep watch for such individuals. The spares I gave you were the last ones I carried. Take care not to forget again. Remember that device cannot be put back into a capsule. Think carefully before deploying it into your pouch. Okay. Well, right now... It is hard to see. So let's fill this place with shine. There we go. Let me make some Zoli capsules. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. It's important that we do these. I guess. Your behavior is a threat. Sorry, I'm just doing what I do. All right. Oh, I could have brought the thing with me. All right. Uh, this is the wrong one. There we go. So the Zonai capsule. How does it work? Do I just drop it? Oh, <laughs> I guess I just drop it. Very weird. That's how that works. There we go. And off we go. Yeah. So is this how I'm going to be navigating this place from now on? Oh, hey, we were here. Don't you remember? I mean, we could have easily just climbed up this mountain. We didn't have to do this. But I guess we always learn something. No, so it's fine. Hello. The time bell that sounds from the Temple of Time rings at a set time each morning and evening. Along with the constructs, we woke to the sound of the bell. When we heard it in the evening, we knew it was time to rest. Hmm. It's also played in part in our traditional ceremonies. And in a way, it was this place beating heart. The side of the temple and the sound of the bell is stir fond memories of me. Okay. I'm glad it helps you in some way. Doesn't help me though. Oh. No, I thought there was fireflies we can pick up. What is this capsule? Oh god, what is this? A device dispenser. Operation confirmed on track to meet today's zone I capsule production target. Oh, do you want to use a device dispenser? I have nearly met my target. You are welcome to use it. What does this do? This is a device dispenser. It produces zonite capsules by converting certain resources. The resources it accepts are things such as construct horns and zonite charges. You can process resources that you can hold by dropping them into the receptacle. Receptacle is similar to using a cooking pot. Sure. Our point, yeah, well, I know what zonite thing is a device cannot be put back in the capsule after you removed it they are intended to be disposable they are plentiful you can extract many uh, zonite capsules from a single device dispenser there's no harm in converting your spare resources resources into zonite capsules and ensures that you always have a few oh i have lost track of time i will suspend my activities for now okay so we just convert stuff okay so it says zonite Zonite? Well, hold on. Zonite devices. Key items. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So. Let's. Try that. Uh, is that what you mean? We made pants! Ooh, and portable pot. It's only a device for cooking food almost anywhere. Ooh, now that's useful. Okay. So I guess we just... I. What the hell? Um, put in. Let's see what that does. new things. Portable pot. What's this? A flame emitter. A zonite device that shoots fire. It's thought to have been originally used as protection for monsters. 
Interesting. That is unique. So it has to be Zonai equipment. One, two, two, then one. Because we do have a construct horn, so hey, put that stuff in there. Fringe. That's materials I just dropped. Okay. Put in. Let's see how this works. Ooh. Flame emitter, portable pot, portable pot, fan, fan. Cool. Nice. Um, that's cool. Ah, we do have that, so let me go get it. We luckily still have our ones that we brought earlier, so let's just use that. Whoa, wait, hold on. It's probably better that we keep it there just in case it does stay. So, we do that. We'll bring this with us. So we need to go that way. I need to reach my friend. Oh, where's your friend? That you seem to have forgotten. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on, buddy. Wait, is it possible? Wait, is it possible that I can actually make like a... Hold on. Um... This is kind of cool. So it's like a bus. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Whoops. I did not mean to do that. You can think of it as like a... Um... Oh, that's cool. Uh, damn, I keep getting the controls confused. So, hold on. Uh, here we go. Um, where's your friend, buddy? Oh, my friend and I got separated. Where's he at? Oh, that's him. I see him. My friend is sending up a soak signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. Well, luckily for you. Wait, wait. So, oh, I can continue making it. Hold on. <laughs> I'm having a little too much fun. <laughs> Customizing. Like, you don't need to do this, but yet here I am customizing it. It might be considered too much, but, um, all right, get in, buddy. Onward. Wow, this is so stupid. Oh, well, hold on. Hold on, we're backing up. We're backing up. And we're good. Alright. Um, hold on. I will get you out, buddy. Hold on. I will get you out. There we go. Oh! I'm sorry. I'm sorry there. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. There's my friend. You're here. Don't worry. Thanks for bringing my friend here. Here's something for you. Get some Korok seeds. Bye. See ya. What's over here? Um, oh, a chest. I do like chests. Zonite. Some more Zonite. Nothing. An apple. I like apples and I like arrows. All right, let's see. Um, it looks like we need to, ho oh, ho, oh, I see. Interesting. We could continue onward. Here. Since we've already have a vehicle, let's actually. Oh no. Don't break. Don't break on me. So, I'm guessing this would be a. 
Uh, oh god, what am I doing? Here we go. Uh, huh. Well, that's fine. Uh, huh. And there we go. Uh, yeah, this should work. Oh, I thought we were connecting something, but uh, we weren't, so that's fine. Uh, in you go. <laughs> this is such a weird mess. Um, can I get up here? Hold on. I'm, I'm gonna get up there. Alright, let's go. What is this freaking mess that I've created? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, oh, no! Stop it. No! Stop! No! And... Hmm. That might have gone a bit too extreme. Oh man. I lost it. I lost my everything. Aw. Now that's stupid. I'm taking this. Actually, no, I won't be taking this. That's rude. This is for here. Okay. Let me... <laughs> Let me take this back. Let's reconstruct, shall we? So, obviously, that wasn't supposed to happen. Obviously. Let me just put this back on. There we go. And then I need to drop the fan. There we go. And then we attach right here. All right. Uh, okay. And then stop. Jump off. Oh, wow, that did some damage. So apparently, let's check out the problem, shall we? Why did this fail? And one of the main reasons we can see is that the thing is broken. So we would have to, hmm. Well, hold on. Is it actually possible we can connect it or something? Like with wood? That sounds very dumb, but it might be worth a try. For all we know, this could work. Uh, no. No, 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 that won't work. Oh, that almost killed me. I should probably eat something. I should eat something. So I don't die. Num, num. Num. Alright. Let's see. So this is what we created. Hmm. Well, we have to go that way. Um... Hold on. What if we do this? I have an idea. What if uh, we grab this? Yeah. Now, of course, this is going to fall apart 100%. So, what if we connected it? So, this may actually become handy. This is going to be a weird-ass contraption, but, uh, bear with me here. So, I'm going to do this. In fact, I'm going to do this. Uh, connect. Nice. So now, we're going to connect this. Now, this is going to be very strange, but we'll see how this works. We need the hook. Where's the hook? Oh, I see the fan. Ah, there's the hook. Well, first we need the fan, so... Let me get the fan. Alright. And then... The hook. I think I'm making this overly complicated. I think all we really had to do is, like, connect the minecart with the hook. 
and then connect it. But I don't know. I think this one's more fun. <laughs> it makes it more interesting. So it needs to be like this. No, that's not right. So we can stay right here, but we still need to connect this. So actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think it's too high. So let's actually disconnect this. Sorry, buddy. Actually, hold on. There we go. And then we can just do this. So now we got to connect it to Oh, since yeah, we're using the left one, so we gotta disconnect this and turn it. There we go. So then we do this. Okay, that should work. Let's see. I can't believe that actually worked. Wow. They really want me to use my brain. Wow, he really learned a lot. And that's probably as far as we can get. Let's take that off. We'll store that here for now. But we did good. How much more? Oh, we're almost there. We're not even halfway there. Well, technically, I guess we are halfway there. Jeez. Affordable pot. Very nice. That means we can cook wherever we go. But we already have a portable pot. Alright. Uh, I'm guessing that's where we drop. But... Hold on. We'll hold on for a second. We've... Is that where we're going? That is where we're going. Well, we'll hold on. Are you saying I didn't need to go here? I just went over here for no reason. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, I guess you live and learn. Great. We're now farther from where we need to be. But, hold on. We may actually need to try something interesting. Let's do that next time, though. That would be a good idea to try, though. I have an idea. I think will be great. 